Welcome back students. We've got an exciting video this time. We've had a look at uh, network concepts such as the terminology, traveling a network, drawing a network diagram, Eulerian walks, uh, minimal spanning trees, etc. And in this video we get to apply some of it in real life situations to save ourselves a bit of money. So this is exciting. Hope you're excited too. Spanning tree applications, these are connector problems. I made up a question here I'm quite proud of. Nine houses need to be connected with water pipes. The weighted diagram, is, which is just about to appear underneath, um, it has values indicating the cost in their thousands of dollars uh, of connecting between houses. We're going to find the minimum cost of connecting water to all the nine houses by using um, Prim's spanning tree application. So here we go. Each of the vertexes are houses and each of the numbers indicate how much it's going to cost in thousands such as 9,000, 8,000, 10,000 etc to connect between the houses. Now we don't want to um, put in any unnecessary water pipes or it's going to cost us a heck of a lot of money. So anyway we're going to use Prim's algorithm to find the minimal spanning tree which is in effect the minimum distance and the minimum number of pipes we need to use to uh, connect the water to all these houses. Let's go for it. You'll remember the Prim's algorithm from a previous video. If you don't then go back and look at it if you like or listen carefully to this one. So it does say to start at any vertex but I'm going to start at that one there because we know that um, that vertex that's hanging out on its own there, that's a house that needs water, we know we're going to use that at some stage anyway. So we, we could, you know, there's an argument that says we may as well start there. So then from that, uh, that, from that, that vertex we move to the other vertex on the corner, top left hand corner there. Now we're looking for the uh, edge with the lowest weight, the lowest number to it, and I reckon that's that other six. Oh, I'm right. And then we're looking from anywhere on our red diagram, we're looking for another lowest edge. I'm comparing the 8 and the 10 and the 16 and the 11. I think I'm going with the 8. Then from anywhere on that diagram, we've collected uh, four vertices already. So we've just got to keep going until we collect all the vertices. We don't want to uh, repeat ourselves by going back on our diagram at all to go to a house that's already got some water connected to it. So anyway, from the uh, red, we have options on edges of 9, 8, 16, 10, 11. I think I'm going with the 8. Then from anywhere on my red diagram, I'm looking for the lowest number. I'm going to choose that 6 and another six. Now I have a choice to get to this house from seven going there or seven going there. It really doesn't matter which one I choose. And then the last vertex, the last house that hasn't got any water yet, could be connected by that 12 from this vertex, that nine uh, or that 11. I'm going to choose the nine because I don't want to spend money that I don't have to spend. So I've done Prim's algorithm there, thought it through, maybe pretty fast, but there's another video on it if I'm going too fast for you. And then um, that gives me the minimum um, spanning tree or the minimum distance that connects all those different vertices. So that's going to save me some money. Now I can figure out that minimal spanning tree distance by simply adding up all those numbers. Our 6 and our 6 and our 8 and our 8 and our other 6 and our other 6 and our 7 and our 9 all add up to 56. Now I said at the beginning in the question that those numbers, those weightings on those edges indicate a cost in thousands of connecting between the houses. So if I take my 56 there and indicate that and kind of think to myself that that's representing 56 six thousand dollars worth of connecting costs. Now that sounds like a lot but it could be more if we didn't uh, figure out the minimal spanning tree distance properly using prims. So I like that sort of stuff. Stuff that's mathematical but ends up saving money or um, helping people out. So there you have a connector problem. I hope that's a good example for you. Thanks for your company. See you next time on peterblakemass.com.